Rabs, this book is about a six-year-old who had a dream. I call it a dream because it really, when I look back, it was pretty much the impossible dream. Here's this kid in a country town, nobody can help him. And so he chases the dream and he, he turns 17. He's still chasing the dream. Um, he's about to give up, but uh, now he moves from June E. As a 17 year old, he decides to join the police cadets in Sydney. And that, that uh, sets off a little alarm bell in his head. He thinks, hang on a moment, for the first time in my life, I'm in the same area as a radio station. So he brings with him these amateurish tapes that he's managed to put together and he knocks on the doors of radio stations. And that's where it started, basically. And so the, the book follows this fellow's career until it comes to an end rather abruptly when he gets shown the door, basically because he won't fly, he's scared of flying. Um, so he goes back into no man's land for about five or six years. Rabs, we laughed and cried throughout the whole process of writing this book. I told you a story that I think is a bit, a bit of a heart jerker. It's a lovely story about a fellow that, a young fellow who, he really was um, my eyes, he was my left hand, right hand, he was my book of knowledge on swimming. This kid, he just loved me and uh, he made me as good as I, I was, if I was good. And then, of course, the story goes on. He, he gets cancer and uh, he dies. And um, he dies, but I promise him before he dies that I will go to London to the Olympics. Um, uh, he knew I would find a way out of it, you know. He tied me down and, and, and I got to the stage where I said, Adam, I'll go to London if I'm well enough, but, and this was the this was the thing that really hurt. I said to him, there's a lot of time between now and London, like about four years. Anything could happen and probably will. And I didn't realise how profound that was when I said it, you know, because he died. Billy Birmingham says you have the most impersonated voice in the country alongside Richie Benno. Are you sick of people coming up to you and doing Rab's voices? No, I'm not. Um, I am flattered by it today and I I enjoy it in many ways to think uh, that that six-year-old kid is now being imitated uh, more than any other person in Australia bar Richie Benno, you know.